All right, time for this week's edition of the Metal Box, our weekly discussion on all things hard rock and heavy metal. It's Tigman, and great to have guests here. Uh, it's been a while since we had guests on the Metal Box, and we've got the guys from Four by Fate. What, what made uh, you decide to bring Pat Gasparini in the band on guitar and Rob Fuso on drums? What happened was we had the original lineup with Stet Howland from Wasp. We had studio time lined up to record, and Todd had flown in. Everything was paid for, ready to go. We were at a KISS convention, and uh, one of our good friends, Sue Newman, comes up with her phone and she says, look, there's a picture of Stet. And Stet's in a hospital with one of those, you know, those dog, that cone of shame on <laughs> the dog's ears. And he had, was in a terrible car accident, so he and his whole family were in the hospital. Todd and I looked at each other and said, what are we going to do? He's here from San Diego. we got to record. So Danny Stanton has been kind of our day-to-day -day right hand man. And uh, we got a hold of him and said, Danny, we need some help. We need a drummer. We got we can't not record. So he said, I only know one guy, AJ Perrow. Todd sends him the music. 48 hours later, he's in a car ready to come up to the studio in Patterson, New York, raw recording, it's called. Great studio. We get a call from him. I was in an accident. I said, it's what? So, but fortunately, he wasn't hurt, so we sent a car to, to fetch him. We, he got to the studio a little late. He came in, sat down, and killed it. As we start to go through the songs, John said, Look, I'm going to go in the, the control booth. You guys just work it out, the arrangement, and then I'll come in when you get it polished up. So that's what we did. So I'm in the ISO booth behind the, the glass, and, and I'm looking at and AJ. And AJ, he has this impish grin. He's like, and he sighed. was like, is that what's next? You know, he was so enthusiastic, so it was very infectious. So when he we play his stuff, and I'm smiling big because it, it's delivering the way I'm hearing it. And then of course we we tragically lose AJ uh, right in Poughkeepsie uh, before a show. And uh, what's going through your mind at that? Point? That was very tough. I had spoken to him Friday, AJ uh, Friday that before he passed, and he I said, "You all ready to come out and do the next six tracks?" Because we were lining up the date. And he said, yeah, sure, let's, uh, he said, I'm, I'm just feeling my arms thrown out of whack here, it'll be okay in a while, just let me get back to you on uh, Monday, and we'll discuss flight plans and, and that uh, before coming out of the studio. So, fantastic, looking forward to it, blah, blah, blah. And so Monday, I'm uh, walking out my door at home, and the phone rings, and it's, it's Danny. He never called me really early in the morning, even though I'm up at 5.30 every morning. And he says, uh, I got bad news. He said, A.J. Perro passed away. I just stopped walking, and I just, what, what, what did you just say? And that kind of thing. So uh, you run the gamut of emotions, uh, feeling bad for the family. Uh, it, we had nothing to do with us. I mean, we, you know, we'll, we'll survive. But you just feel bad with everything that you know, he's accomplished and the, the uh, amount of talent that just, just passed away with him. So uh, at that point, uh, we... Um, Went through the, the normal activities of consoling uh, everybody that we could. Uh, and after all that was done, then we decided, well, what are we going to do uh, now? And that's when uh, Pat kind of stepped in. So at that point, I was doing uh, a show down in um, Rob's neck of the woods at Orange County Choppers. In, um, and I ran into Rob's brother. And, you know, bells just started going off in my head saying, you know, this could be good. The three of us hooked up and um, had a phone conversation. And the next thing you know, we're uh, at the chicken coop rehearsing uh, for the studio session, the next uh, half of the record. We can have Rob on. Yeah, there he is. And that's it. On Friday, we're going to be uh, at Vintage Vinyl in uh, 51 Lafayette Road, Fords, New Jersey. And then on Saturday, we're going to be right here in the Poughkeepsie area at Dark Side Records. There it is, uh, the uh, CD from 4 by Fate, Relentless, Todd Howarth, John Regan, Pat Gasparini joining us on the Metal Box this week. All the best to you guys. Much success. 4 by Fate, thanks for uh, stopping by and joining us this week, guys. Appreciate it. Always good to see you. We'll see you on the road.